Welcome to the Catholic Disaster Preparedness Program, produced by Catholic Charities. Catholic Charities is the official domestic relief agency of the United States Catholic Church. During disaster response and recovery, Catholic Charities USA supports the efforts of local Catholic Charities agencies in communities to provide resources and services when there are not enough resources to recover. This assistance is particularly focused on individuals and families who have been more heavily impacted and will have a harder time recovering from the disaster event. Through various training initiatives, Catholic Charities USA also supports the disaster preparedness efforts of individuals and families, parishes and dioceses, and local Catholic Charities agencies. This training program is called the Catholic Disaster Preparedness Program. It consists of a three-part video training series focused on our call to prepare as Catholic individuals and families for disasters and emergencies, prepare as Catholic parishes so that our sacraments and services will be available to those recovering, and prepare as Catholic members of the community to help all our neighbors in time of crisis especially those most vulnerable. The training you are attending today is called Parish Disaster Planning. It's offered because being church or living as people of God is especially important in times of disaster. When our parishes are prepared for disasters, we are better able to answer our gospel call to help others. Light Our Way a Guide for Spiritual Care in Times of Disaster, published by the National Voluntary Agencies Active in Disasters, says, Disaster disrupts spiritual lives significantly. Nurturing people's spiritual needs contributes to holistic healing. Everyone can benefit from spiritual care in times of disaster. Let's begin with an opening prayer called Lift Up Those Who Have Fallen. Holy One, you are our comfort and strength in times of disaster, crisis, and chaos. Surround us now with your grace and peace through storms, earthquakes, fires, and floods. By your Spirit, lift those who have fallen, sustain those who work to rescue and rebuild, and fill us with the hope of your new creation, through Jesus Christ, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. This training, Parish Disaster Planning, focuses on preparing your parish to protect its people and staff and to continue its administrative, sacramental, and communal responsibilities during times of disaster or other severe emergency events. Parish Disaster Planning provides guidance on how to go about answering the question, How prepared is my parish? It also describes a process for establishing and prioritizing appropriate preparedness goals and for developing plans that can be put into action when the need arises. Parish Disaster Planning consists of two videos. Video 1 will cover five topics including Picture of Parish Preparedness Assessing Risks to the Parish Assessing Parish Preparedness Establishing Parish Preparedness Goals and implementing parish preparedness goals. Video 2 will provide guidance on developing two types of plans, parish emergency operations plans and parish continuity of operations plans. Participant Guide The participant guide you received is for use during and after the training. It summarizes the video content, and includes instructions for activities that demonstrate some of the necessary steps of parish preparedness. The resources section contains forms, examples, and links to other documents that you can use later to support your efforts. Picture of Parish Preparedness Disaster preparedness means taking action to get ready for and reduce the impact a disaster has on people, property, and community. It requires an understanding of existing risks and vulnerabilities and a plan of action to lessen the impact of a disastrous event. 
Parish disaster preparedness also requires commitment from leadership and assistance from committed members of the parish. This training assumes that parish leadership has committed to disaster preparedness and has or will create a committee or group to accomplish and maintain it. Think about parish preparedness within three areas. Securing parish operations. Steps can be taken to ensure that parish staff, facilities, and resources are protected and that normal operations can continue or resume as quickly as possible after a disaster. Protecting the church community. A prepared parish has practical plans for protecting members and guests should a disaster event occur during Mass, religious education, parish celebrations, or ministry gathering. In some parishes, this category may include post-disaster assistance to parish members and others in the community. Preparedness to assist the community is addressed in Part 3 of the Catholic Disaster Preparedness Program, Sharing Our Gifts. Protecting Sacred and Important Items Contingencies can be established for protecting the Blessed Sacrament and sacred items, valuables, sacramental records, and other essential parish documents during a disaster event. Regardless of your current state of preparedness, it is always valuable to engage your Catholic and other community partners in preparedness. This can be achieved by reaching out to the appropriate diocesan facilities management office to find out if they have resources or guidance to offer, becoming familiar with the role of your bishop in disasters, Connecting with the Disaster Operations Component of the Local Catholic Charities Agency and Establishing Relationships with Other Catholic and Non-Catholic Voluntary Organizations Active in Disasters, like the Knights of Columbus and the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. The Participant Guide includes a link to the National Voluntary Organizations Active in Disaster website. Finally, but far from least important, is coordinating with your local emergency management agency to find out their plans and protocols for disasters. What does a prepared parish look like? Most parishes that are in hazard risk areas have learned from their own disaster experience or that of a nearby parish. As an example, Blessed Sacrament Catholic Church in Central Florida has experienced tropical storms and major hurricanes. The parish developed and follows an emergency response policy and procedures document. Its goal is to guard the work and mission of the church from preventable harm and mitigate the risk of harm to life and property through emergency readiness. Blessed Sacrament's Director of Operations works with the pastor to ensure that preparedness tasks are completed. For example, an annual risk assessment, review and revision of emergency directives, training and preparation for the church staff and volunteers, ensuring proper functioning of on-site emergency equipment, and confirming the proper posting and placement of emergency supplies and plans. A copy of Blessed Sacrament's Emergency Response Policy and Procedures is included in the Participant Guide. Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Columbia, Missouri is at risk from tornadoes and earthquakes. They have identified an emergency preparedness team and have completed an emergency operation plan. A copy of their plan is included in the Participant Guide as well. Assessing Risks to the Parish Disaster preparedness actions must be based on the best possible understanding of what could happen. You may be able to easily identify the hazards that could affect your parish and the community in which the parish is located. Activity. Assess disaster risk. When the video is paused, turn to the participant guide and check off the disaster events in each category that have occurred or could occur, based on what you know about your community's history and your parish location. If possible, note the extent of the earlier events and how frequently they have occurred. 
Then, rate the risk from each potential disaster based on the likelihood of its occurrence and potential impact on parish staff and members, property and facilities, and ministry and services. Prioritizing risks also involves assessing which aspects of parish operations are most important to continue when disaster hits. Providing Mass and the sacraments and other spiritual care for parishioners requires the parish administration to be functional as well. High priority concerns may differ from one parish to another. Do you have a school, food bank, support groups, youth groups, and other organizations that rely on the use of parish facilities, festivals, and other events that are part of your parish identity? If the risk assessment shows that certain hazard events could negatively affect what it considers most important, they are considered higher priority risks. When the video is paused, return to the Assessing Risk Worksheet in the Participant Guide to note the high priority parish assets to protect. Your parish insurance carrier is likely to have a list of the tangible assets of your parish and or a more general list to consider. But your biggest assets are those that establish your parish identity. Assessing Parish Preparedness After assessing disaster risks, the next step is to review any existing parish preparedness measures to determine what is needed. Readiness Categories Parish preparedness measures can be looked at in various readiness categories. Plans help ensure the readiness of the parish when responding to incidents that have the potential to threaten the safety of our people and the operation of our parish. They may be called by different names, such as Emergency Operations Plan, Continuity of Operations Plan, Disaster Response and Recovery Plan, Disaster Manual, Emergency Response Policy and Procedures. Equipment and supplies include tangible products that aid in preventing, preparing for, responding to, or recovering from a hazard event. Examples may include emergency communication equipment, firefighting equipment, generators, batteries, and backup lighting, sandbags, and floodgates, surge protectors, vehicles for evacuation, warning radios, and wind shutters. Facilities include any structure, physical asset attached to a structure, identified safety areas, and accessibility measures that aid the parish in preventing, preparing for, responding to, or recovering from a hazard event. Examples under the readiness category of facility include Identified sheltered areas Protected locations for storing sacraments and sacramental records. Arrangements in place to accommodate the needs of people with access and other functional needs during an emergency. A site assessment is an effective way to check all parish facilities for disaster readiness, for example, structural integrity of buildings, compliance with building codes and accessibility standards for individuals with disabilities, access, and functional needs, location in a flood zone, and emergency vehicle access. Information is any signage, policy, list, inventory, or system that aids the parish in preventing, preparing for, responding to, or recovering from a disaster event. Examples under the readiness category of information are Emergency procedure chart Call down phone lists Emergency notification software. Emergency exit signage is posted and easily seen from inside the facility. Facility maps are clearly posted. Training is any course, activity, discussion, or educational opportunity that advances the parish in disaster preparedness. There are many opportunities for parish leaders, preparedness committee members, and others to complete training, for example, this Catholic Disaster Preparedness Program, Community Emergency Response Team, 
parish and community disaster drills, and tabletop exercises. The participant guide includes a checklist for assessing preparedness in these readiness areas. Federal, state, and local emergency management agencies and some voluntary agencies also offer self-paced and instructor-led preparedness. The participant guide includes links to several of the federal and voluntary training providers. It is important to document both the risk assessment and parish preparedness assessment so that parish leadership and the Disaster Preparedness Committee can review and identify areas for improvement. Establishing Parish Preparedness Goals When the assessments are finished and areas for improvement are identified, the parish can begin to determine its preparedness priorities. While every area of improvement is important, it may be necessary to prioritize before establishing goals. A good question to ask again is what is important to this faith community and why? Saving lives of parish members and staff is likely to be a high priority everywhere. A parish disaster plan is essential. Other preparedness priorities may differ depending on the parish's gifts and challenges. In a geographically large rural parish, where members are widely dispersed, there may be no alternatives for attending Mass if the church is damaged. A parish in that situation may need to explore other options, such as an agreement to share church space with another denomination, researching the use of media to broadcast Mass, or the feasibility of celebrating Mass in an outdoor open area. The diocese may have guidance or plans for this type of situation, so it's always valuable to check. Goals can be developed after the parish leadership and disaster preparedness committee have identified priority preparedness initiatives. What do goals look like? Goals are broad general statements that indicate the desired outcome in response to a threat or hazard. Goals may describe what personnel and other resources are supposed to achieve. Goals also help identify when major activities are complete and what defines a successful outcome. Additional examples of preparedness goals include Replace school windows with impact-resistant glass to protect adults and children from impacts of wind damage and to reduce insurance premiums. Obtain capacity to disseminate simultaneous emergency announcements electronically by text or email to parish staff and or the parish community in the event of a disaster or other incident. Establish and practice a phone tree to communicate emergency announcements to staff and or members if the church or parish facilities have been damaged and a schedule change is required. Assess and address active shooter risk. Create a network of members to check on fellow parish members after a disaster. Establish a roster of disaster response volunteers to perform cleanup tasks. If a parish has multiple preparedness goals, how can they decide on which ones to pursue? There are collaborative processes that enable all opinions and ideas to be considered by the committee and or parish members at large. One example is to use disaster dollars. In this method, each person participating in the process receives an equal number of dollars or votes. Group members can choose to assign them to any of the suggested goals or to only one. When totaled, the goals receiving the most votes or dollars are selected for further consideration. Implementing Parish Preparedness Goals once goals are chosen, the next step is to define what has to be accomplished to achieve each goal. Objectives are specific, measurable actions that are necessary to achieve the goals. Often disaster planning groups identify multiple objectives in support of a single goal. Consider this goal. Establish a roster of disaster response volunteers ready to perform cleanup and repair work on parish facilities following a damaging hazard event. What objectives must be achieved to enable that goal to be accomplished? Write down some possible objectives. 
possible objectives might be Recruit volunteers. Obtain volunteer release forms. Communicate with volunteers. And train volunteers. Each objective should also describe the date by which the objective will be completed. From there, the responsible party, in this case the volunteer coordinator, can identify and pursue the resources needed to perform each objective. Resources There are a wide array of resources and examples of how to improve the disaster preparedness of your parish. Links to several of them are included in the participant guide. Wrap up. This concludes video one of Parish Disaster Planning. This video has provided a brief introduction to disaster preparedness for Catholic parishes, including picture of parish preparedness, assessing risk to the parish, assessing parish preparedness, establishing parish preparedness goals, and implementing parish preparedness goals. Video 2 will continue the conversation by describing two disaster plans every parish needs and the process for developing them and additional examples and resources to reference when building disaster plans. Visit Catholic Charities USA at catholiccharitiesusa.org or call 703 549 1390 for more information about the Catholic Disaster Preparedness Program and other disaster preparedness training opportunities.